Welcome to yet another episode of the Pull List Examiner. This is my weekly video where I take a look at my top three choices for the week uh, from my pull list based on what I'm looking forward to reading when it comes out on New Comic Book Wednesday. This week's New Comic Book Wednesday is going to be August 24th, 2022. You can find my full pull list in the description of the video below. Last week's video was a live stream, my first ever, and I had some technical difficulties with it, but uh, it still came out pretty decent. And uh, we now have two winners for the giveaway that I had, and uh, I will be getting those books into the mail shortly and sent off to our two winners. So thanks for watching, and let's jump into my top three for this week. Starting off this week with number three, I am looking forward to reading Star Wars Hyperspace Stories, issue number one. I was previously on Star Wars Adventures, but not the main Star Wars Adventures, uh, only the High Republic Adventures. So on my pull list. And so this week, we see the very first Dark Horse Star Wars comic book again. Uh, if you're a Star Wars fan, you know that Dark Horse previously did publish the Star Wars books, and then it appears IDW had the rights for a while, and something happened. I didn't really research what, but it appears that IDW lost those rights, and they're back at Dark Horse again. So if you are a Star Wars fan, you will start seeing comics coming out from Dark Horse Comics once again, and it starts with this issue coming up this week, Star Wars Hyperspace Stories issue number one. So if you're a fan of Clone Wars, then you'd probably like this issue, and if you're a Star Wars fan in general, then it's probably worth picking up as well. At number two this week, we have Swamp Thing issue 16. I had to put this on my list because this is the final issue of Rom V's run on Swamp Thing. He started uh, over a year ago now, and they were going to end it at issue, I believe, 12, and then <clears throat> they worked the deal, probably because it's become so popular, to extend it an additional four issues. So now we're up to issue 16. I have to admit, I was kind of surprised. They threw in one of my favorite characters. I think it's not too big of a spoiler to mention that Green Lantern shows up. So that's kind of cool that you get the protector of the green which is Swamp Thing, and you get Green Lantern, and there's more to it than that, and you have to read the story to see. I will say that the story has been slow over the 16 issues. It's not a fast-paced issue. Rom V uses, I guess you could call it prose, very flowery language throughout the entire series. There are times when, I have to admit, it may not even really make sense to why it's there. It's just a very poetic story that starts from issue one all the way to the end. It brings in some what I would call probably metaphors between the green and industrialism in the world. So it could, you could take it at a deeper level if you wanted to, or you could take it at surface level, but I had to mention it. It's that final issue. I'm looking forward to reading it. And if you haven't picked it up, I assume DC will have it out in trade probably relatively soon. And coming in at number one this week is going to be Forever Forward issue number one. It is another Zach Kaplan story. Yep, I've mentioned on my previous episodes that I have become a big Zach Kaplan fan. A series over at Dark Horse called Breakaway. Hopefully you're reading that one. He has a new series called Mindset that is over at Vault Comics and deals with uh, some guys who created a app on a phone that does mind control. Now we get a brand new series from Zach Kaplan. He's a pretty busy guy, I guess. And this new series is called Forever Forward. And again, it's a brand new series, so I only know what's in the preview. And they're indicating that it is going to be a scientist and some friends who accidentally send themselves into the future, I think it said 30 plus years, and they end up stumbling on notes from themselves that indicate they have to go forward to get back home to their current time. So thus the title, Forever Forward. So it almost sounds to me like this is going to be a mystery story mixed with time travel. So we'll see how Zach Kaplan comes out with this series. Uh, 
I have one little bonus this week. I usually don't do cover buys, but I really wanted to throw out there that this week there is a Gabriel Delato cover. He's one of my favorite cover artists. And there is this series of special Predator covers that are going on over through Marvel Comics. I have no interest in reading Amazing Spider-Man right now, but I believe it's issue number eight comes out this week. And I saw the cover and it is an amazing Gabriel Delato cover. I think he actually did an exclusive cover for issue number one and I didn't get that. So I'm actually looking to see if my local comic shop has this Amazing Spider-Man issue number eight with this variant cover so that I can pick that up this week. It Thanks for watching the Pull List Examiner. This is my weekly show and I uh, have kept it the same format for uh, the last six months. And I really am considering adding a new segment. I hit my 100 subscriber mark and I wanna thank everyone who's helped me get to that point. And uh, if you haven't yet, you can go look at my live stream I did last week to see who won the two comics that were the giveaway for hitting that 100 mark so thank you everyone for watching my show and remember to read them bag them and board them and we'll see you next time on pull list examiner